Hey everyone, my name is Paul Vicheski and welcome to the Real Estate Classroom YouTube channel. In this real estate math video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate what's called PITI, stands for Principal Interest Taxes and Insurance. And you have to know that for your real estate exam. So let's get to today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to calculate PITI, which stands for Principal's Principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. That's the four parts of your monthly mortgage payment. And then I'm gonna do a practice problem, a, a hypothetical problem that you might see uh, a similar type problem on your real estate exam. But I wanna cover what PITI is first before we get to any calculations. On your screen there, PITI, as I said, stands for principal, which is the amount that has been loaned to you by the lending institution. The interest is the interest that you're paying on that money that's been loaned to you. Then we have our annual property taxes, and then we have our annual insurance premiums. Those are the four parts of a typical uh, monthly mortgage payment. Okay, so let's dive a little further or a little deeper into this PITI. On your screen, I've kind of broken it down into two different segments or two different buckets, if you will. The principal and interest part of your monthly mortgage payment, that is to repay the lender. Remember, the principal is the amount that was loaned to you, and then the interest is the interest on that money that was uh, loaned to you, and that's repaying the lender. That's two parts of your mortgage payment. The other part is taxes and insurance. Now, what happens is every month you pay uh, one twelfth of the estimated tax payment and one twelfth of the estimated insurance payment, and that money goes into what we call an escrow account. And I've talked about escrow accounts in previous videos, but it's an account that is set up by your lender where that money just accumulates every month when you make your mortgage payment. So when you're annual property taxes come due and your annual insurance premium, there's money there to pay those bills. Uh, what the lender does not want is they don't want the homeowner being responsible to pay those things, then the homeowner doesn't pay them. And then that creates clouds on the title in, in so far as your taxes go, because if you don't pay property tax, it goes and it gets the, a tax lien certificate is sold off at an auction, which places a lien, a priority lien actually, a uh, priority lien to the mortgage even, if those taxes aren't paid. And then certainly the lender is gonna want the, the property protected against loss, such as fire and whatnot. So they wanna make sure that you're gonna make those payments so they do it on your behalf. So those are the four, the four parts of a monthly uh, mortgage payment. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is kind of go over a sample test problem that you might have on your exam. So let's just take a look at it. It says, Tom obtains a mortgage to purchase 123 Main Street. His monthly principal and interest payment is $1,340.25. The lender requires an escrow account be established to pay the, the property's real estate taxes and annual insurance premiums. Annual taxes are $2,450 and annual insurance premiums are $1,350. What is Tom's total mortgage payment? So there's enough information in this, this sample problem to get the correct answer. Now, look at initially, the test question gives us the principal and interest. So in this sample, you're not having to calculate that. Now, there is a type of real estate math problem called amortization, where they give you certain numbers and then you have to calculate that PI portion of PITI. That's one type of a PITI calculation. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this video. Um, we're gonna, I, I am gonna do a video on amortization, but not here. So in our sample problem, we have all the information that we need. So let's take a look how we calculate this. Okay, so let's take a look at how we calculate PITI. And there are a couple of different ways the test can ask you about PITI in calculating it. One is, like the problem I just gave you. The other one is where the student has to, or the test taker has to calculate what the PI part is. So you may have a test question where you're gonna to have to calculate 
PI, or you're gonna have a test question like this, where you they give you the PI portion and then you have to calculate taxes and insurance. Uh, when you have to figure out the principal and interest portion, we call that figuring out the amortization. I'm going to do a video a little bit later on on how to do that. So this is the second type of question you may see on your exam. All right, so there are three steps to calculating a problem like this. Number one is we take the annual taxes, which is $2,450, and we divide it by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. These are annual taxes. And we have to break that down into a monthly rate. So when we take the annual taxes of $2,450 and we divide it by 12 months, that gives us a monthly rate of $204.17. That's the first step. The second step is we break down our annual insurance premiums into monthly, uh, monthly cost. So we take $1,350, which is our, the cost of our annual uh, tax premium, and we divide it by 12, which is 12 months. That gives us a monthly rate of, or monthly cost of $112.50. Then the step three, the final step, we take the principal and interest payment, which is given to us in our problem here of $1,340.25, we add our taxes, our monthly tax uh, of $204.17 and our insurance of $112.50 and we just add them all together. That gives us a monthly mortgage payment or our monthly PITI of $1,656.92. And don't forget that those uh, the, the taxes of $204.17 and the insurance of $112.50 that that amount is going to go into that escrow account where every month it's just going to continue to build up until taxes and insurance are due. So this is one type of calculating a PITI problem that you might see on your real estate licensing exam.